is up YouTube before I drop this video I got some crazy news I just looked and we're about to hit 50,000 probably in the next month if not earlier I'm gonna give away a complete 21 fat tire front end kit installed we're gonna get the lucky winners bike shipped up here we're gonna do the install and then get the winner up here too so we can record it all so make sure you watch this video and enjoy it and then when we drop the next video in about a couple days we're gonna give away all the details on how to do it drop a comment below so I know you saw this video all right all right, what is up, fellas? We're back with another video here. Uh, we're going to do a comparison video of a 107 stock road glide to a 114 stock street glide. Bikes are the same thing minus the fairing. The only difference on this bike is you put bars on it and it's got some slip ons, which those add sound more than performance. So it's not a header or nothing, it's still a factory header on it. Uh, I got Chris over here. Chris is the one uh, that kind of threw that bag of race together that you saw. All right, so he's uh, how much you weigh? 60 pounds. Okay, so I'm, I'm 225, so I got 65 pounds on you. So what we're gonna try is, I'm gonna jump on the 114 bike. It's super windy, so hopefully that's getting all blocked, but I don't know if you'll be able to tell, we'll have to check, but I'm gonna jump on the 114 bike. He's gonna jump on the 107 with his extra savings of 65 plus pounds. We'll see if that gives them an advantage. And then we'll probably do is two races on two races. We'll just do two on these and then flop it and do two and see if there's an actual difference because I'm sure he probably knows how to ride better when it comes to this than I do, as stated in the last video. But we're gonna throw the drone up. We got it almost to an eighth mile. Uh, as long as it's not crazy on the top end with how windy it is, we're gonna try to go the whole way. And then uh, I got my helmets on. He's gonna have his helmet on so people don't bitch about that either like they did in the other one. Uh, but we are on the same road. And you can see there's no one here, it's a Sunday. The other day was in the middle of the weekday, it was during traffic on rush hour when people got off. Stay tuned and yeah, we'll see what happens here. So, go from there. Chris on the road glide, me on the street glide, traction control kicked in, and unfortunately it didn't go well for me. This time I do it again, screwing with the traction control button to see what that helped. So we just did a couple runs here. The first time this thing's got traction control on it, that RDRS, which is garbage. I guess it's better for rain than anything. So the first time it was on, it just bogged out completely. And then, so that was the first race. The second one, I kind of took the hit because I honked and he followed. Same thing, I tried turning the RDRS off on or the traction control off because there's only, there's a, um, a weather light and then it, there's no weather light. So it's the goofy, it's the same thing when you go into the dyno, when you're dyno in these car, bikes with the RDRS, they can turn them off differently through Thunder Max or whatever program software they're using. It's just like a car, as soon as it left, it would kind of bog and then it would go. You can't even really do a burnout without the traction control kicking in. Uh, I guess I could try to disengage the ABS. I think I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna unplug the, the, the ABS completely. We'll do one other run, same way, and then we'll swap bikes because it was weird. You won and then I won and you won and I won. We'll see what it looks like versus, you know, without, because this bike is non, this is uh, non RDRS. Yeah, this bike doesn't have track control on it. So he doesn't have to worry about it. All he's got to worry about is just ABS. And that's when it comes to braking and you slam on the brakes, they pulsate. Um, but this stupid crap RDRS shit is making, I didn't even think of it at this point when we were doing this, I didn't realize it would do this. So I think I'm gonna un unplug the ABS box. It'll throw a light, no big deal. And then uh, we'll give it one run this way. I'll jump on this bike, do one rip, see if it makes it any difference, and then we'll swap and do two, two rips. So a quick and easy way to disable the ABS is just to pop the side cover off and unplug the ABS module. 
So unfortunately this time, it just spun out the hole real hard. So now we flip it around, I jump on the road glide and Chris jumps on the street glide to see if it makes a difference. This was actually a good run. We both left perfect, but Chris, being the avid racer that he is, knew what to do, got ahead of me, and uh, put that 114 to work. Unfortunately, the drone's battery was about to go dead, so it landed itself by the trailer. We didn't get the drone footage, but Chris come by and he actually got me by a bike or two. So, apparently, I'm not a great rider when it comes to racing, because the last two times you could see right here, I spun and probably spun whatever, 30 feet out, where he was babying it out. And it seemed like in the red bike, when we raced the turbo bike, I was able to get on it pretty good. I mean, this has got 35 pounds in the back. Could probably lost another 15, right? What do they, they run them at? Yeah, so like, yeah, 10, 13 pounds. So that would probably would have helped. Um, but then, so the last the last two runs, the first the first one I spun, and then this last one, it seems like it was the most decent, because I did you leave at the same time? I didn't even pay attention. Is it? Okay, all right, so, and he was probably two or three bikes out at the end. I'll look at the drone footage. Hopefully it stayed up for it because it, the battery went dead. So I don't know where, at what point it cut off. Is that a big difference when it comes to motorcycles and lengths, you know, car-wise? I mean, a couple bikes is a, a pretty good lead, especially in eighth mile. I mean, how, how much farther we would have went, but. And the other thing is, is on this bike, I was, my knee, I don't think I was full throttle all the way. Cause my fucking, my knee was hitting that. That's the problem with big bikes or small, big people with small bikes. That's why I do the big wheels and get all stretched out. This wasn't so bad cause my arms are up, but that one, I was trying to lean low and my, my arm was like banging my knee cause it was so close. So, so we'll see, I'll look at the footage. I have absolutely no idea how it turned out. Hopefully it turned out good. And it gives you the comparison of the difference of a, uh, a standard and a special. I mean, yeah, it's a road glide and a street glide. Is there a difference other than the motor? All they give you is a black powder coat. You get your Prodigy wheels versus your regular, uh, I forget the name, I always forget the name of the regular street glide wheels, but um, blacked out and some stretch bags and that's about it for I think an extra 45 or five G's, whatever they charge on top, if not more. Still cable clutch, everything else is the same. They still don't powder coat the the lower rockers or your push rod tubes because they want you to add that on later so they can make more money. It's a good old dealership for you. But uh, either way, drop a comment, let me know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you guys like it and it gets a lot of traffic, we'll keep doing it. Hopefully I get better. So, and thanks Chris for coming up. So, so he's a uh, official famous drag racer.